Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about the anatomy of the pancreas. Our main objective will be to describe the position and form of the pancreas and its relation to other abdominal organs. Pancreas is an elongated accessory digestive gland. It lies retroperitoneally and it transversely across the posterior abdominal wall posterior to the stomach between the duodenum on the right and the spleen on the left. The root of the transverse mesocolon lies along its anterior margin. The pancreas produces exocrine secretions, that is pancreatic juice from the acinar cells that enters the duodenum and endocrine secretions, which is glucagon and insulin, from the pancreatic Icelands or the Icelands of Langerhans, that enter the blood. For descriptive purposes, we will divide the pancreas into four parts. Now, the four parts of the pancreas are the head, neck, body and tail. The head of the pancreas, which is the expanded part of the gland, is embraced by the C-shaped curve of the duodenum. The uncinated process, a projection from the inferior part of the head, extends medially to the left, posterior to the superior mesenteric artery. The neck of the pancreas is short and overlies the superior mesenteric vessels, which form a groove in its posterior aspect. The body of the pancreas continues from the neck and lies to the left of the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein. The tail of the pancreas is closely related to the hilum of the spleen and the left colic flexure. The tail is relatively mobile, so it can move, and passes between the layers of the suprarenal ligament with the splenic vessels. The pancreatic duct begins in the tail of the pancreas and runs through the, the substance of the gland to the head, where it turns inferiorly and merges with the bile duct. Now the bile duct, which is the common bile duct, crosses the posterior superior surface of the head of the pancreas, or is embedded in its substance. The pancreatic and bile ducts unite to form a short dilated hepatopancreatic ampulla, which opens in the descending part of the duodenum at the uh, summit of the major duodenal papilla. The sphincter of the pancreatic duct around the terminal part of the pancreatic duct, the sphincter of the bile duct, or the colidocal sphincter around the termination of the bile duct, and the hepatopancreatic sphincter is called the sphincter of Odi, around the hepatopancreatic ampulla are small muscle sphincters that control the flow of bile and pancreatic juice into the duodenum. The accessory pancreatic duct drain the uncinate process and the inferior part of the head of the pancreas and opens into the duodenum at the minor duodenal papillae. Pancreatic arteries derive mainly from the branches of the splenic artery. The anterior and posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery, branches of the gastro duodenal artery, and the anterior and posterior inferior pancreatico duodenal arteries are branches from the superior mesenteric artery, supply the head. Pancreatic veins 
are tributaries of the splenic and the superior mesenteric part of the portal vein. However, most of them empty into the splenic vein. The pancreatic lymph vessels flow to the artery. They correspond to the artery. Most of them end in the pancreatic or splenic node. That is along the splenic artery, but some end in the pyloric lymph nodes. And from the pyloric to the celiac, hepatic, superior mesenteric lymph nodes accordingly. Of course, the nerves of the pancreas derive from the vagus and thoracic supplantic nerve that pass through the diaphragm. Parasympathetic and sympathetic nerve. They reach the pancreas by passing along the arteries from the celiac plexus and superior mesenteric plexus. They are vasomotor, but some parenchymal, they are parasympathetic to pancreatic acenal cell and isolate in their distribution. The pancreatic cancer, this is a cancer involved the pancreatic head account for most cases of extrahepatic obstruction of the biliary system. Because of the posterior relationship of the pancreas, cancer of the head often compresses and obstructs the bile ducts and or the hepatopancreatic ampulla. This condition causes obstructive jointness, resulting in the retention of bile pigments and enlargement of the gallbladder. The jointness, which is a yellow stain of the most of the body tissue, due to this cancer, neck and body of the pancreas may cause portal or inferior uh, vena cable obstruction because the pancreas overlies this large vein. So, the relations of the pancreas to the related organs around it is so important in this section. Thank you.